And they might be saying, well, uh, if all the other weapons are less useful than they were in the second one, then that's not so unusual. No, it is unusual, even for this game. Because it's, the, the weapon barely works on anything. In fact, if you try to use it on these spiky fucks coming up, you'll get killed. Because all it does is freeze them in place where you can't jump over their asses. Not, to, not that you should necessarily whip it out just to use it. The Shadow Blade is more than effective at that. But on the other hand, it is extremely misleading. See, right there, it freezes his spikes. And as long as you don't freeze him, the spikes can actually hurt him. He'll run into them. Unfortunately, once you've frozen his worthless ass, you can't jump over him. He, you just have to wait until he gets unfucked. Just switch to the Metal Blade and save yourself the annoyance. Or excuse me, the Shadow Blade. Dear Lord, if only the Metal Blade could be in this game, it would be ten times more awesome. Now, I don't know if you, those things actually have to open up for you to kill them. It doesn't really matter. They're more of a nuisance than anything. The Needleman stage is actually another stage that's vaguely, vaguely related to the boss's ability. Now, the whole, you know, pirate ship rigging and the masts and all that shit, I have no clue what that's supposed to mean, but once you get into the lower levels of his area, you do run into giant spikes. So at the very least, there's that. Makes for a little bit of interesting platforming, but once again, it's nothing that's going to really grab you and hold your attention. There really is no level in this game I can think of that, that grabs me. Not aesthetically or design-wise. Musically, I will give them. Now, while it is possible to kill these guys in one shot with the erection knuckle, I prefer to use the cannon here just because the knuckle has a tendency to run into those giant bolas that they throw at you. And then after that, you can safely dispatch the other one with your ninja star shit. Now, these guys become cake once you have the hard knuckle. Just wait until they jump, fire one, and they'll run into it and die, and your task is done. Now, <clears throat> coming up here is not a prime example of how to beat this guy. It just became a question of desperation. See, the problem is that, by logic, the spark shock should work against him. It freezes the spikes of his minions. And it's the weapon you just recently got. The problem is, it doesn't work on any of the bosses you have to fight after you fucking get it. Needleman is very happy to point that out for you. In fact, he is, god damn it. Uh, he is the worst of the regular bosses, as you can fucking see. You're actually supposed to use the Gemini laser on him, but you can't get the Gemini laser until you beat Snake Man. But you can't beat Snake Man until you beat fucking Needle Man. So what do you have to use? Uh, the Ninja Star and probably some energy tanks is about all I can tell you. I mean, the Ninja Star is a soft counter to him. It does enough damage to be effective. It's not as effective as the Gemini Laser. There is no enemy with the the energy to go along with the... And now, the top dude has the enthusiasm, but Needleman has the energy and the enthusiasm to make your life suck. To make you shit mayonnaise for a week. 